How we doing? How we doing? Today is Wednesday, the 28th of August, 2024. Just doing a real estate tap in with you for today. So it looks like even though mortgage rates have come down, uh, demand is not picking up. Um, but I think that's kind of, you know, I think it's a twofold type of story. It's because that, you know, we're actually at the end of the buying season. Um, People are preparing for their kids to kind of go back to school. They've registered them. Um, so things kind of cool down, you know, as we hit August and then going into the last quarter of the year. Uh, you have the holidays coming up soon and people usually don't like to try to move during that particular time. So I think it's, um, you know, it is because of that and then also there is some uncertainty out there when it comes to the job market. Um, you know, if you look at um, some of the sentiment out there, it seems that people feel that they could be laid off, you know, between now and the first of the year. So some people are just, you know, being conservative right now, wanting to see how things play out with this election and everything that potentially is going to happen after that. So I think that's a a good reason for that um, and then also too it's just affordability uh, prices have steadily you know increased across the country you know obviously in different areas they may have come down or you know been flat but for most areas throughout the country they're continuing to go up so even though you have a lower interest rate if you have to pay more money for the house uh, you're really not uh, you know saving uh, so you know those are just some reasons for that you know, it is going to be interesting to see how the rest of the year plays out. Uh, just trying to keep an eye on this unemployment. Um, you know, I think that they, you know, we'll have to see uh, next week uh, after Labor Day, you know, when they come out with those um, statistics. And even if they do come out with them, um, most likely they'll be revised like we saw recently. So think that's the big thing right now is just making sure that uh, everybody you know stays employed we don't see a big uptick in unemployment but with that being said there's still opportunities out there in the note space uh, you can buy uh, real estate notes that are currently uh, out there that are performing um, you can buy non-performing as well um, so if you're thinking about investing in real estate I would definitely consider notes um, if you're somebody too that is a, an investor and you're doing fix and flipping, I would suggest uh, possibly looking into offering uh, seller financing on these particular properties. Starting to see properties where they're fixing up uh, in New Jersey here um, where they're having to drop the price um, because they're not getting uh, the offers that they're looking for or maybe the activity. But I think if you, you know, offer seller financing and you can write these things properly. Um, the investor doing the fix and flip can get the money out of it that they're looking for. And then also it'll attract, and it'll attract uh, more buyers uh, to you. Um, you know, if you did have somebody that, you know, maybe put it under contract and then couldn't perform, uh, you can go back to that particular person and see if you can structure this accordingly. Uh, you can structure this the right way um, to get them in the property, uh, make sure that they can afford the property, and then also, like I said, make sure that the investor is getting uh, what they need, you know, the profit that they're looking for out of the deal as well. So if anybody's interested in that, if you have realtors that have, you know, new construction or fix and flip properties that are sticking on the market and you don't want to lower the price, you know, reach out and let's have a... Let's have a conversation and see if there's a way that we can, um, you know, bring some value to you and your client um, and get them what they're looking for. All right. Uh, if you need to reach me, my telephone number is 973-475-8488. Or you can shoot me an email, investorgmr at yahoo.com. Have a great one.